A great way to explore new water is with a soft tackle wet fly. You're able to cast out, swing through large sections of water, and really explore what might be in there. A soft tackle can emulate a stonefly, a mayfly, and a caddisfly that are emerging from a particular body of water and it offers a very generic way to present to fish uh, until you figure out exactly what they're fishing, uh, they're feeding on. When presenting a wet fly, we have to keep in mind what the insect is doing in the water. It is drifting downriver with the current after it comes off the bottom of the river, so it's a natural downstream motion. If we swing only on a tight line, we're not giving a very natural presentation. So when you do present, a neat trick is to keep your rod tip high as you come swinging through the current, lower your rod tip, which is gonna allow that to follow downstream and swing at the same time. One of the techniques we're using today is an indicator rig for nymphing. This involves a suspension device, which is our indicator, a length of tippet, and our fly. Now, in accordance with weight, you need some weight to get your fly down. I prefer to use a very heavy fly than any string of split shot. What ends up happening is you end up crimping the split shot onto your tippet, which weakens it a fair amount. I want every little bit of strength that I can have. I use a heavy tungsten bead head fly, a very thin diameter tippet leading up to our suspension device. What also happens too is if you do use very thin tippet, which I like to use 5x, 6x, or 7x, is that the thinner you go, the more ability your fly has to drop through the water column and to where the fish are. There's far less resistance on thin tippet than there is thick tippet. So 3x, 4x, 5 and anything much thicker than that, you're running into problems. So try to use the thinner tippet as you possibly can to get your fly to where it needs to be. So as we cast an indicator rig, what we want to do is maintain a perfect dead drift still. We want to set ourselves up looking at the current direction and current speeds to mander line appropriately to give ourselves that dead drift. Now when we cast out our indicator rig, we want to make sure that we are maintaining a perfect dead drift. So that indicator will follow that foam line, the bubbles we're trying to fish through, and mimic them exactly. Any motion that's not natural, the fish will pick up on and refuse their fly. You may not even look at it twice or even the first time because it is not a natural presentation. Nice. Little one on a wet fly. Good searching pattern when you're on new waters. Little rainbow. And there he goes. I'll show you the fly. They think it's an emerging insect. Just a little wet fly. It's meant for casting down and across and let it swing out of the current. As soon as I cast this one out, the fish hit it. This video is made possible by Fish USA, America's fly shop. Visit us today at fishusa.com.